Everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's coverage here in Seattle for AWS Marketplace Seller Conference. The combination of the Amazon Partner Network combined with the Marketplace from the AWS Partner Organization, the APO. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE, bringing you all the action and what it all means. Our next guest is Trisha Kata Malakava, Chief Strategy Officer at Data Robot. Great to have you, thanks for coming on. Thank you, John, great to be here. Um, so, data robot, obviously in the big data business, data is the big theme here. A lot of companies are in the marketplace selling data solutions. Mm -hmm. I just ran into Snowflake, Parson, I ran into another data analyst company. A lot of, a lot of data everywhere. You're seeing security, you're seeing insights, a lot more going on with data than ever before. It's one of the most popular categories in the marketplace. Talk about Data Robot, what you guys are doing, what's your product in there? Yeah, absolutely, John. So we are an artificial intelligence machine learning platform company. Uh, we have been around for 10 years. This, is, this year marks our 10th anniversary. And uh, we uh, provide a platform for data scientists and also citizen data scientists, so essentially wannabe data scientists on the business side, to rapidly experiment with data and to get insights and then productionize ML models. So the 100% workflow that goes into identifying the data that you need for machine learning and then building models on top of that and operationalizing AI. How big is the company project. roughly, employee count? What's the number? We are about a thousand employees and we have customers all over the world. Our biggest um, verticals are financial services, insurance, manufacturing, healthcare, pharma, all the uh, highly regulated as well as our tech presence is also growing. And uh, we have um, people spread across multiple geographies. And uh, I can't disclose the customer number, but needless to say, we have hundreds of customers across the world. A lot of customers, yeah. yeah. You guys are well known in the industry. I've been following some of the recent news lately as well. Yeah. Obviously, data is exploding. What in the marketplace are you guys offering? What's the pitch? Someone hits the marketplace and wants to buy data robot, what's the pitch? The pitch is if you're looking to get real value from uh, your data science personal investments and your data, then you have data robot that you can download from your AWS marketplace. You can do a free trial and uh, essentially get, from, mm -hmm. uh, get, uh, get value from um, uh, data in a matter of minutes and not months or quarters yeah. that's generally associated with AI ML. And after that, if you want to purchase, you, uh, it's a private offer on, in the marketplace, so you need to uh, call a data robot uh, representative, but AWS marketplace offers a fantastic distribution channel for us. Yeah, I mean, one of the things I heard Chris uh, say, who's now heading up, the, the marketplace and the partner network was the streamlining a lot of the benefits for the sellers and for the buyers to have a great experience. Buyers, clearly we see this as a macro trend that's going to only get stronger in terms of self-service, buying, bundling, having the console on AWS for low level services like infrastructure, but now you got other business applications that like analytics applies to. You're seeing that work. Now he said things like, that in the keynote I want to get your reaction to, like we're going to make this more like a CI CD pipeline. We're going to have more native services built into AWS. What that means to me is, that sounds like, oh if I have a solution like Data Robot, that can be more native into AWS level services. How do you see that working out for you guys? Does that play well for your strategy? Um, and your customers, what's, the, what's, the, what's resonating with the customers? It plays extremely well with the strategy. So I call this as a win-win-win strategy, win for Data Robot, win for customers, and win for AWS, which is our partner. And it's a win for Data Robot because um, the amount of people, the number of um, eyeballs that look at AWS Marketplace is significantly higher than, than the doors that we can go knock on. So it's a distribution multiplier for us. And the integration into AWS services that you're talking about, um, it is um, very important because in this uh, day and age, um, we need to be interoperable yeah. with cloud player um, services that they offer. Whether it is with SageMaker or Redshift, we support all of those 
those. Um, and it's a win for customers because mm. customers, um, IT is a very important growing buyer yeah. persona for Data Robot. Yeah. And uh, they already have pre-committed spend with AWS uh, and they can use the, those spend dollars yeah. uh, for Data Robot to procure Data Robot. So it eases their procurement life cycle as it's well. It's a force multiplier on, on the revenue side. Correct. I mean, as well as, um, as on the business front. Cost of sales go down, the cost Correct. per order dollar. Correct. I mean, this is good goodness. It's it's definitely, um, sorry, just to finish my thought on the win for the partner for AWS, it's great win for them because they are getting yeah. the consumption from the partner side. Uh, to your point on the force multiplier, absolutely. It is a force multiplier on the revenue side and it's great for customers and us yeah. because uh, for us, we have seen that the uh, deal size increases when there is a cloud commit that we can draw down for, yeah. for our customers. The procurement cycle shortens um, and also we have uh, multiple uh, constituencies within the customers working together yeah. uh, in a very seamless fashion. How is the procurement going through AWS help your customers? What specific things are you seeing that are popping out as benefits to the customer? So from a procurement standpoint, um, we uh, we are early in our marketplace journey. We got listed about a year ago, but the amount of revenue that has gone through marketplace is pretty significant at Data Robot. Uh, we experienced um, like just in uh, by. Uh, I think this quarter, until this quarter, we got like about 20 to 30 transactions that went through AWS Marketplace, and that is significant within just a year of us operating on the Marketplace. And uh, the procurement becomes easier for our customers yep. because they trust AWS, and we can put our legal paperwork through the AWS yep. machine as well, um, which we haven't done yet, mm -hmm. but if we do that, that will be a further force <laughs> multiplier because yep. that's the, Le the less friction there is. Um, I like how you say that, it's a machine. Yeah. Um, and if you think about the benefits too, like one of the things that I see happening, and I'd love to get your thoughts, because yeah. I think this is what's happening here. Infrastructure services, I get that. IaaS, yep. done, hardware, I'm oversimplifying, but all the, all the goodness. But as customers have business apps and vertical market solutions, you got more AI involved, you need more data that's specialized for that use case, or you need um, a business application. Those, you don't hear words like, let's provision that app. I mean, yeah. you provision hardware and, and infrastructure, but the, the new net cloud native is that. You provision, turn on the app. So you're seeing a wave of building apps or composing Lego blocks, if you will. So it seems like the customers are starting to assemble the solution, almost like deploying a service. Correct. And just pressing a button and it happens. This seems to be where the, the business apps are going. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you agree for us, that? we are um, we are a data science platform, and for us, um, being very close to the data that the customers have is very important. Mm -hmm. And if if the customer's data is in Redshift, we are close to there. So being very close yeah. to the hyperscaler ecosystem uh, in that yeah. entire CI/CD pipeline and also the data platform pipeline is very important. You know, what's interesting is, is the data is such a big part of. I mean, DevOps infrastructure as code has been the movement for a yep. decade. So yep. if you throw security in there, it's DevSecOps. Yep. That is the developer now. Yep. They're running essentially what used to be IT. Now the new ops is security and data. Yep. You see in those teams really level up to be highly high velocity. Data meshes, um, semantic layer, these are words I'm hearing in the industry around the big waves of data having this mesh, having yep. it connected. So you're starting to see data availability become more pervasive. And, and we see this as a way that's powering this next gen data science revolution, where it's like the business person is now the data science person. That's exactly, that is, uh, that is what Data Robot does the best. Uh, we were founded with the vision that we wanted to democratize the access to AI within enterprises. It shouldn't be restricted to a small group of people. Um, don't get me wrong, data scientists also love Data Robot, they use Data Robot, but the mission yeah. is to enhance um, many, many hundreds of people within an organization to use data yeah. science 
like how you use Tableau on a regular basis, yeah. how you use uh, Microsoft Excel on a regular basis. We want to democratize AI, and when you want to democratize AI, you need to democratize yeah. access to data, which, uh, which could be stored in data marketplaces, which could be stored yeah. in data warehouses, um, and uh, push all the intelligence that we grab from that data into the ERP, into the apps layer, because at the end of the day, business users, customers consume mm -hmm. predictions through applications layer. You know, it's interesting, you mentioned that comment about you know, trying not to, to uh, fend data scientists. It's actually a rising tide. The, the tsunami of data is actually making that population bigger too, right? Correct. So you also have data engineering, which has come out of the woodwork. We covered a lot on theCUBE, which is, you know, we call data as code. Mm -hmm. So infrastructure as code, kind of a spoof on that, but the reality is that there's a lot more data engineering. I call that the smallest population. Those are the, those are the alphas, those are alpha geeks. Yeah. Hardcore data, operating systems kind of education, data science, big pool growing, and then the users yeah. are the new data science practitioners. Correct, So exactly. kind of a, the landscape is, you see that picture too, right? For sure, I mean, we uh, we have presence in all of those, right? Um, like data engineers are very important, data scientists, those are core users of data robot. Like, how can you develop thousands and hundreds of thousands of models without having to hand code? If you have to hand code, um, yeah. it takes uh, months and years to solve. Yeah. Uh, one problem for one customer in one location. I mean, see how fast the microeconomic conditions are moving. And data engineers are very important because at the end of the day, yes, you do, you create the model, but you need to operationalize that model. You need to monitor that model for data drift. You need to monitor how the model is performing. And you need to productionize the insights that you gain. And for that, engineering effort is very important behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, and the users, yeah. at the end of the day, they are the ones who consume the predictions. Yeah, I mean, the volume and, and the scale and scope of the data requires a lot of auto automation as well, because you add that on top of it, you got to have a platform that's going to do the heavy lifting. Correct, exactly. The platform is, we call it as an augmented platform. It augments data scientists uh, by eliminating the uh, <laughs> tedious work that they don't want to do in their everyday life, which yeah. uh, some of which is like feature engineering, right? It's a very yeah. high value add work. However, it takes um, like multiple iterations to understand yeah. which features in your data actually impact the this outcome. This is where the SaaS platform as a service has evolved, and we call that super cloud. Right. Um, this new model where people can scale it out and, and up, so horizontally scalable cloud, but vertically uh, integrated into the applications. It's an integrator's dilemma, not so much Correct. an innovator's dilemma, as we say in the queue. Yeah. So I have to ask you, I'm a, I'm a buyer, um, I'm going to come to the marketplace, I want data robot. Why should they, by Data Robot, what's in it for them? What's the key features of Data Robot uh, for a company to hit the subscribe, buy button? Absolutely. Do you want to scale your data science to multiple projects? Do you want to be ahead of your competition? Do you want to make AI real? That is our pitch. Uh, we are not about doing data science for the sake of data science. We are about generating business value out of data science and we have done it for hundreds of customers in multiple different verticals across the world, uh, whether it is investment banks or uh, regional banks or insurance companies or healthcare companies, we have provided real value out of data for them mm -hmm. and we have the know-how in how to solve whether it is your supply chain forecasting problem, demand forecasting problem, whether it is your uh, foreign exchange trading problem, how to solve all these use cases with AI, with data robot. So if you want to be in the business of using your data and being ahead of your competitors, yeah. data robot is your tool of choice. Shusha, great to have you on theCUBE. As a strategy officer, you got to look at the chessboard, right? And we're kind of in the mid game, I call it the cloud. The opening game was, you know, happened. Now we're in the mid game of cloud computing. And where you're seeing a lot of refactoring of opportunities where technologies and data is the key to success, uh, being things secure and operationally scalable, et cetera, et cetera. What's the key right now for the ecosystem? As a strategy, you look at the chessboard for data robots. Obviously, marketplace is important strategy yep. and bet for, for data robot. What else do you see for your company to be successful um, and you could share with, with customers watching. Yeah, for us, uh, we are in the intelligence layer. The, data, uh, the layer below us is the data layer. The layer above us is the applications um, and the engagement layer. 
data robot, uh, I mean, uh, interoperability in ecosystem is important for every company, but for data robot it's extra important because we are in that middle of, middle layer uh, of uh, intelligence. And we, um, we have to integrate with all different data warehouses out there, enable our customers to pull the data out in a very, very faster way and then showcase all the predictions into, into their tool of choice. Mm -hmm. And from a chessboard perspective, I like your phrase of we are in the mid cycle of the cloud revolution. Yeah. Um, and every cloud player has uh, a data science platform, whether it is a um, simple one or more complex one or whether it has been around for quite some time or mm -hmm. it's been latent features. And it is important for us that we have complementary value proposition with all of them because at the end of the day, we yeah. want to maximize our customer's choice and Data Robot wants to be a neutral platform in supporting all the different um, uh, vendors out there from a complementarity standpoint because you don't want to have a vendor lock-in for your customers, so you create models in SageMaker, for example, you monitor those in DataRobot, or you create models in DataRobot and monitor those in AWS. So the, you have to provide like a very flexible- it's a solution architecture. <laughs> correct, exactly. You have to provide a very flexible tech stack for your customers. Yeah, that's the choice. That's the choice. It's correct. all good. Thank you for coming on theCUBE and sharing the data robust. So I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Thank you on. very much for the opportunity. Okay, Take breaking care. it all down with the partners here. The marketplace is the future, obviously, where people are going to buy the buyers and sellers coming together. The partner network and marketplace, the big news here at AD Seller Conference. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. We'll be right back with more coverage after this short break. Mm -hmm.